This just in, are rats now obligated to pay New York State taxes? And do zebras now have human feet? We're gonna take it over here with Rachel live from Lower Manhattan. I oh know. my gosh, yes. here's this new spot uh, in Soho that I really want you guys to go to. Can we cross? What are you guys doing tonight? I think I want to go. I know, I literally. What are you guys doing for happy hour? Um, can you please go around me? We're filming for the news. Ugh. Yo, I want to be on TV. Yo, dude. I dare you to I walk in front of that lady. Ah! Are you guys all getting a cab? You want to come to dinner? Hey, yo, shorty! You better back up. Cause Rachel, we're live. Heavy. Rachel. Hi, thank you, Nancy. We are live from... Okay, guys. We are not going to... Oh, I'm nervous, girl. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Please don't say The it. Bronx? No! Whoa! Man, that was the one I picked. I really wanted to go there. That was a good one. Okay. We are not going to... Nebraska. What? Are you kidding me? We missed out on, the missing out on Nebraska? Dang. Come on. Okay, we are not going to. Come on, y'all. Come on. Jamaica. I mean, I'm fine with that. Yeah, yeah that was yeah, easy. I was yeah. Yeah. yeah, I don't Yeah, that must have been a throwaway. Jamaica, Queens, y'all. No! no! I'm not going anywhere no more. I'm sick of this. Come day. on, y'all. We got bad luck. Okay, we are not going to. I don't want to look. Antarctica. Oh, are you serious, me? That though? Was mine. Oh. That was a good one. Come on. Okay, y'all. We are not going to Potato Heights. What? Oh, y'all, we missed out on the good places, y'all. I don't want to go nowhere. No, I need to step out. I need to step out. Oh, I need to step outside. Down. Okay, we are not going to Iguana Farms. Oh, I'm about Yo, to lose. Is it. Are you kidding me? I really wanted to go there. Right. No, I'm getting mad now. All right, y'all. This is the last one. We are. Going to oh, this one's mine, y'all. What'd you put? Paris. Paris. What? Why would you? Paris. Paris? I'm sorry. I really? Come up with anything, so I you really? Like, I literally one. picked something better. Oh like, my god. No, no, we do this. We're not going there. We're gonna redo it. Everybody got a pen and paper. Baby, make sure you wearing your shin guards okay, this time. All right, oh, love you. Good my luck. Gosh, I know that ain't who I think it is. Oh. Brenda? Hi, Sharon! Hi! Mwah. Mwah. I can't believe this. I was like, is that Brenda who used to eat her lunch in the school bathroom? And I was like, is that Sharon? In the flesh. AKA Mrs. I like to hang out with guys because it's less drama. Oh. How are you? I'm doing great. I saw that your car got repossessed last April. That's a big yikes. And I saw that you're on your third divorce on Facebook. Well, collecting those infinity stones, I see. Still have terrible credit and facing eviction, I see. But anyways, how are the boys? Very good. My oldest is going to college, so. That ran down community college right up the street? No, Harvard. Oh, wow, Harvard. I guess they're letting anybody in. Clearly, they're not letting everybody in there because your son has taken a gap year for 47 years now and he's still not in school. Oh, uh, you gag me there. <laughs> Well, anyways, enjoy the game, Brenda. You too, Sharon. Bye. Desperate. Non-existent neck. <sighs> oh, great. Finally. Hi, Mommy. Novea, come get your backpack. Oh, sorry. I forgot. You got everything? Yep. Everything's in my bag. I love you. Love you too. You're not going to say bye to Daddy? Bye, Dad. Yeah. I love yeah, you. Yeah. I see you next weekend. Hi. Give me a hug. Be good. I will. Hi, mommy. mommy. Hi, sugar wooga booga. You're finally safe from that monster. Get inside while I go talk to your daddy, okay? Okay. All right, put your seatbelt on. Okay. You can call daddy if you need anything, all right? Okay. <clears throat> Shanice. Clifford. I told you, I go by Lil Booga now. Oh, wow. Look at you finding another temporary career. Hopefully this one generates income so you can actually pay child support for once. Oh, don't worry, shorty, it will. Because I got 36 views on my TikTok video. I'm really up next. So, first of all, that's not the hairstyle that I dropped her off with. And did she even take a bath and do her homework? Um, she never asked me for one, so no. Clifford, how you not gonna give your child the bath? Like, so we just not taking a bath go. now? See, this what? is what I be talking what? about. Oh my gosh, Shanice, you mad bitter. You so you bitter. Never like, do your you part. Bitter. You it don't matter. Do it don't it matter. matter. Yes, it do. You no, stay no. doing See, that's this. why she got like... my last name and not yours. You know what, Shanice? See, why this is why you evil. You evil. You all them crystals that
that you be rubbing together and listening to that Jenna Ayuko music and Ever. you still evil. Ever. You still can't get a man. Because you evil. Ever. You evil, Shanice. You evil. I'm the bad guy. I'm yeah. a get for custody. How? You forever broke, Clifford. I told you it's booger now. That's not what the judge called you, so. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Um, hello? Are you wasting my food? Because I know you're not wasting my food that I just spent my hard-earned money on. No, I was trying to make something I saw on TV. With my groceries that I just bought? What's in there? What is that? Speak up, child. Mustard, chocolate syrup, pickles, cottage cheese, sprinkles, cookies, marinara sauce. That sounds absolutely delicious. Now go ahead and eat it for me, baby. What? You heard exactly what I said. Now you made it, now you better eat it. Go on, bon appetit. But, but, but I don't wanna eat it. Oh, you definitely gonna eat it all right. And you're not gonna leave this kitchen until you do. Oh, you got an issue now? Since you wanted to be creative and now you don't wanna eat it? I don't it? wanna. No, now you have to. Now you gonna eat it all while I'm standing here. And I'm not gonna leave until you take a bite. Eat it. Yeah, eat it. You out here wasting my mustard when there's other children out there that are begging to have some mustard. Mommy, I don't wanna food? eat it. I bet you not gonna be Chef Boyardee again. I bet you not. I bet you not. Hello. Hey, you rockin' all-star. Go ahead and scan that card. Actually, I would like to cancel my gym membership. <gasps> but why? You clearly have unfinished work to do. Told ya. What? I guess you're comfortable being shaped like a Toyota Highlander forever. Excuse me? Well, if you must know, I moved 17 hours away and the membership is $700 a month now, so that's why I need to cancel. That's why you want to cancel. All I'm hearing is excuses. You could easily just move back or commute. Um, that's unrealistic. And plus, I found a closer gym that's by my house. Come on, what other gym has treadmills? Literally every gym. You know, one thing I can't stand is a quitter. Mm. You're really about to throw everything away, everything that you've worked for, all because you wanted to be selfish and move? Not only are you letting us down, but you are letting yourself down. Mm. What happened to that girl on January 1st who said she wanted to unbig her back? Mm. That girl inside you is screaming for her wide tractor, double-decker bus back to go back to a small sedan, but you won't let her. Instead, you want to be shaped like a transit bus. Okay, are we still talking about the gym or just cars? Jenna, cut off the gaslighting music. I'm sorry, but we can't let you cancel. Besides, you already signed all your rights away and the only way to get out of it is sell your entire estate. Well, I'm leaving and calling customer service. Jenna, guard the door! What? Yeah, I'm just waiting for more people to come on. Hey, y'all. What happened? Um, no, I just be up. No, clearly I won, though. Like, what are you talking about? No. She didn't get no scratches on me, like... Why am I wearing sunglasses? Because it's bright in here. Like, y'all don't be wearing sunglasses to the club. Like, why do you have an ice pack if you didn't get... Because I have a headache. Like, I can't have a headache. Like, nah, here's what happened. She was talking about my twerk air, and I, I just came to her house, and I pulled up, you know, because I'm really about to stand on business. So... Are you in? No, I'm not cool with her no more. Because how you going to talk about, oh, I'm about it. I'm going to support you. You know, I always write for my girl. And then all of a sudden, you got a doctor's appointment. Exactly. Like, that's fake. Like, she was really never my friend. Like, she's always been jealous of me. Tell me how her dude been cheating her, though. Yep, he been cheating on her with nine different girls, like, exactly. And I kept that from her, because, like, I was trying to be a good friend, but you let me fend for myself, so now I'm going to air out your tea, so. Exactly right. Where are y'all getting this, oh, she got whooped from? Like, I did not get whooped. Where do you see the whooping? Like, where do you see the whooping? I'm over this. Like, I'm really done. Like, I'm done. Because, like, I clearly won the fight. Like, what are you talking about? Like, hi, girls. Welcome to Sephora. Can Lady, I get you got drunk elephant or not? 
Oh, it's it's over there. Oh my gosh, Izzy, I see it. <laughs> Hi, my friend and I are looking for the rare beauty blushes. Oh, the rare beauty blushes are gonna you be. You're a liar! I checked already and it wasn't even there. You're not even doing your job properly, lady. Is there like a specific shade that you're looking for? Show her the picture. Show the lady the Let picture. Let me find it. No, let's go over there and show her. Over here. My friend's gonna take you and show you. Come on. <laughs> Okay, so we ran out of the shade in Courage, but we do have Lucky, which works just as good. That's what I asked for! I literally wanted it in a specific shade. I wanted it in Courage, and you bring me the wrong shade that I did not ask for. My dad, who is the president of Timu, will not be happy about this, and you'll be out of a job. Excuse me, do you guys sell the ordinary here? No, honey, but I can suggest Wishful Skin. Ah! You're so useless! Excuse me, which retinol product do you recommend? Aren't you like nine? FYI, I'm actually turning 10 tomorrow. So basically, where's your mother? Okay, sweetie, your total is going to be $10,364.62. Is your mom or dad going to pay? Oh, no, I just took it out of my life savings. So technically, it's my money that I'm going to be uh, using. Sweetie, I don't think are that's you dumb. I said it was my money, you potato with lashes. What? Oh my goodness, besties, I have partnered with Norwegian Cruise Line. So get ready with me to go on a cruise that leaves the dock in nine minutes. Since I only have nine minutes to pack my clothes, drive to the pier, and check in, the most logical thing for me to do at this very moment is my makeup. Norwegian Cruise Line has launched their Month of Tomorrow's campaign, which is a month-long contest where challenges are posted each week for the audience to compete on social media. And at the end of the contest, they will select three winners to win a cruise package. You guys have no idea how excited I am for this cruise, especially since my dad took my yacht away. Like, see, I too am relatable. But anyways, I'm so stoked because this is basically like a bigger yacht with like 4,000 people. I cannot wait to eat out on the deck, karaoke, unlimited ice cream cones, theme days, and of course, shamelessly hold the buffet line so everybody can watch me take boomerang videos of the food. This cruise is a much needed solo trip. Despite the fact that I'll be bringing my production team, my emotional support pig, my hairstylist, my makeup artist, and my publicist, like that's it. Okay, I'm almost done packing. The cruise is gonna be 72 hours, so I just wanna pack with all my light essentials. And don't worry, this 10 foot ring light is totally gonna fit in my suitcase. Okay, so I think this is everything. If you guys are interested in entering the challenge, check out Norwegian Cruise Line to enter the Influence Us Challenge, which is challenge number five. And from there, you can submit your own travel influencer video. And if you guys are interested in learning more about Norwegian Cruise Line's Month of Tomorrow's campaign, check them out for a chance to win a cruise package. Bye! Okay, step Ugh. forward a little bit and close your eyes. Shauna, you gotta make this quick. I gotta go to work. Open them. What in the... What? Is this for somebody else or... Uh... Okay, I brought you here. Yeah, why? Because I want to ask you something. You couldn't do this over iMessage? You know, we've been dating for 10 years yeah so why ruin what we got going and, on and you know we've been through a lot and you're like the man of my dreams and i know you said that good things come to those that wait mm -hmm, yes and i feel like this is the perfect opportunity is this a skit um, like <laughs> um okay la frederick we've been together for so long i mean yeah that's what a situation ship is yes you did cheat on me and you had seven kids on me but i'm willing to raise those kids as my own. You already and do. I'm willing to give you all of my paychecks. You do that too. And I'm willing to be your doormat for the rest of our lives. You already are. But Frederick. Don't do it. Don't don't will lean you down. Marry Wait, me? please don't tell me. No, no. Oh gosh. Uh can I get back to you on that? Because um I'm just trying to I'm waiting on to hear back from somebody else. Um Yeah. But if she said um, no, then I'm a, then I'm gonna say yes. We could take a little rain check on that. Um, you can get up now. You know, if you if you wanna let me know, how long is that gonna take? I'm gonna let you know in like five years. I promise. Five years is the max. I'm gonna let you know. Um, I'm gonna give you an yes, update by it, then. It's worth the wait. It, it's you worth so the understand wait. it for that. Mm -hmm. Thank you, babe. Yes. I love you, babe. That's why yes. I love you. That's um, why I love you, babe. Hi, welcome to Raising Cane. Whoa, whoa, can... whoa, Khadija. Now is that how we greet our lovely customers? You seriously about to make me yes! sick? Yes. Or you're fired. Bok, bok, bok. It's chicken o'clock. What can I get you? Chicken, chicken, which combo you picking? Go ahead. <laughs> I'll take the clucking sandwich combo. Welcome to Raising Cane's. If the chicken ain't kicking, then girl, you must be tripping. What can I get you? Let me get a five-piece combo. Whoa, whoa, what are you doing? I just asked you for chicken. Like, okay, well, you should have said that. Okay, well, you should have said that. You gotta be trying to be with me. Hi, can I get a box combo with no coleslaw, please? No, because you decided to wear Ugg boots today. Let me get a box me? combo with extra coleslaw. Extra? Welcome to Cane's. If the chicken ain't clucking, then knuck if you bucking. Go ahead.
Um, can I get a box combo with no sauce, please? Just the chicken only? Sir, I think you need the sauce. No, I really don't want the sauce. I, I, I'm fine, I'm fine. I don't need you it. You do need the sauce. Why do you, I need the really sauce? You really do need the sauce. You can't eat it without it. Yo, Rasputia, where's my combo at? I've been waiting here mad long. Well, I'm gonna give you that combo, all right? Where? Hi, my beautiful, delicious baddies. I have been getting so many requests to do a what's in my bag video, and we're doing it today. I am so sorry for the goofiness. I am just so excited. Oh my goodness, please do not judge me. These are my literal holy grail items. First thing is obviously gonna be my wallet. Let's see how much I have in here. Nothing. Next is my lotion because I always need to stay moisturized. Next is obviously gonna be my onion in case I get hungry. Like who doesn't have an onion in their purse? Next up is mustard. I mean, duh, if Beyonce keeps hot sauce in her bag, I'm keeping my mustard in my bag. Next is my water bottle. I have to stay hydrated. Next is obviously my wig. You never know when you're gonna have a bad hair day, ladies. Okay, this next one is a little bit heavy. Ugh. Next, I have my vacuum. You never know when you're gonna make a mess. I mean, who doesn't have a vacuum in their purse? Next is my 10 foot ring light. I mean, what kind of influencer would I be if I didn't have a 10 foot ring light in my purse? Next is my office chair in case I- Okay, and finally, this is the weirdest thing I have in my purse. Don't judge me, okay? But a hair tie. I know I'm so weird. Like who carries a hair tie? Like, oh my. Comment down below for what more videos you want to see from me next. Bye. Okay, so unfortunately, I have another list of things that I learned from being on social media in 2023, except this is within the past seven days. Okay, you are not allowed to have vacation highlights in your Instagram bio. You are not allowed to eat alone in public. You are not allowed to have LED lights in your room. You are not allowed to cry at your own wedding, especially if you are a man. You are not allowed to eat free bread at a restaurant because that is big back behavior. You are not allowed to wear an Apple Watch at a formal event. You must apply for Social Security after turning 30. Men who eat oatmeal for breakfast or drink smoothies are considered sassy. You are not allowed to have your phone on Do Not Disturb or that means that you are a narcissist who is terrible at maintaining relationships, lack communication skills, and of course, have avoided attachment style. You are not allowed to wear macage jackets because they are childish. You are not allowed to wear a bonnet in public or on social media. You are not allowed to do your own hair because that is broke behavior. You are not allowed to say that you do not want kids because that is selfish. As a man, you are not allowed to have a skincare routine or take care of your fingernails because that is sassy. Black or brown lip liner is ghetto. You are not allowed to fly Spirit Airlines even if you were just simply trying to save money. You are not allowed to eat at Chili's. You are not allowed to shop at Ross. You are not allowed to have almond shaped nails. You are not allowed to be too loud or excited or you will be broken up with. You are not allowed to be in the gym for New Year's Day because you are taking up space. Please don't bring this into 2024. You guys, I have devastating news. What happened? Is everything okay? I'm leaving. <clears throat> you guys, there's bagels in the break room, y'all. Aisha. Oh, gosh. You know you're one of my favorites, right? You literally told on me for coming in late. I would like for you to have this tape since I won't be needing it anymore. What? Mondays. Am I right? But this is my last Monday. <laughs> Who's going to miss me? <clears throat> Lashana, I am going to miss you the most. My name is Lauren and we never work together. Hey Tyler, now that we're no longer coworkers, you should unblock me from social media now. I think I'm good. When's the due date on that? Client wants it by March 9th. <gasps> no, but I'm leaving March 8th. And then he told me the assignment was due on the 9th, but I was leaving March 8th. <laughs> oh my gosh, you're so lucky. You guys, I'm giving away free pens because I won't be needing them anymore since I'm leaving. Who wants my pens? We should totally hang out and keep in touch. Yeah, we should. I'm definitely down. When do you want to hang out? Sometime this decade. I'm literally so bored. You could help us on a project you'd started. But I'm leaving. So when is the secret party that you guys are having? Oh, it's going to be on March 9th. But I'm leaving on the 8th. Well, yeah, exactly. Melanie. 
Do you like that Applebee's gift card that I got you? Yeah, thank you so much, but I noticed it was used already. They called me and told me over the phone. Uh, hello? Hi, welcome to Ulta. Where are the molecules at? It's right in our skincare section all the way to the left. Do you guys carry Glow Recipe here? We don't carry that here, but we do have some Shoshito products that we can really- Does the Hannah Evans use that? I don't know who that is and I'm not then sure. Then I don't want it! Dad, 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 dad. Excuse me, do you guys have any more sugar, honey, apple pie, watermelon, bubblegum, waffle cup serum? I can't recommend you that, but sweetie, you're so beautiful. Your priorities should be studying. And you look like a rotting banana at 23, so oh. clearly you don't know where your priorities are. Oh my gosh, I just got the last ordinary serum. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. <laughs> Yeah, where's your bubblegum retinol? Sweetie, I don't think you should be using retinol like that on your skin. I well, just... judging by the looks of you, you should be using retinol yourself. Uh... So me and you can both look for it together. Yo, where's your Elemis anti-aging cream? Honey, is the aging in the room with us right now? Even I don't use anti-aging cream. Like, there should really be a limit on- And I thought the age limit to work here was 50 years old, but clearly you're here. What? Sweetie, I'm 21 years old. Like That's what? a hard 21. Maybe we should get the anti-aging cream together. Mom. 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 Mom, mommy. Ooh, Urban Decay, that's such a good choice. I use it all the time. It's so- Clearly you don't use Urban Decay because you still look like you're Urban Decay Inc. What? Okay, sweetie, your total's gonna be $6,782.41. Emily, which one should I put back? Are you serious? <sighs> okay, put this one back. No, I need that one to make my pineapple smoothie. <sighs> Dad, can you come inside? I need 47 more dollars and I'm at the register right now. Sweetie, why don't you just step aside while I can just help out other people and then when you're ready... <sighs> my dad is Boom! coming oh, in a my... minute. He's only gonna be here in 40 minutes. I love your ring. Thank you. He got it from Pandora. Wow, that is so Excuse good. me. Can I get everybody's attention, please, real quick? <clears throat> Thank you, y'all, for coming to our engagement party. I just want to give a special toast to my soon-to-be wife, the future Mrs. Robinson. Oh, 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 come on, Shauna. All right, all right, all right. But Shauna... You've been here for me for a very long time. You stayed in a 21-year situationship with me while I was working on myself, and now I'm finally ready to settle down. That's Even though the woman you. I actually wanted to marry already said no, you stepped it up. You stepped it up. Oh, and you have allowed me to cheat on you multiple times, and you still took me back, and that's how I know you are a good woman. Mm -hmm. And when I cheat, I always feel so disgusted. But to make myself feel better, I always be thinking about you every time I cheat. You make the best meals. I look forward to coming home every night after a long day of cheating because I know where my home is. Mm. Yes. Mm. Thank you for accepting my proposal. And even though I was using you as a placeholder to get the girl that I actually wanted, but that girl ended up getting married to another man. So I realized that she was the one this whole time. I was blind. I didn't see it. And even though I cheated on you with all of your homegirls, that just shows that they were fake friends. And the only real friend you got is me come on now and even though i turned you against your whole family and made you choose me over them that just shows that you're loyal mm. trustworthy mm. and you are good enough to be my wife yeah you have really showed me what loyalty is and you is a down chick yes mm. you really a down chick and that's why i love you shauna i still might cheat in this marriage but at the end of the day i'ma always come Home. That's what it's about. Girl, you snagged a good one. I can't wait for it to be my turn to be picked. So I already took up most of y'all time. But with that being said, cheers, everybody, to Shauna. Hi, Hi, welcome to Costco. Thank you. Have a good one. Hi. Hello. Thank you. you. Go. Good morning, miss. Can I see? Thank you. <clears throat> good morning, miss. How are you? I'm just going straight to the cafe. Membership? Yes, but I'm only just going to the food. Membership? Miss, I know that. But Membership? I I left it in my car. I'm just trying membership. to- Membership. Miss, I'm only going to get the- Ma'am, if you don't have a membership. I know that, miss, but I'm only here to go straight to the- Give me your membership! Ah! Ah! <laughs> Please! <laughs> I'm just going to the cafeteria to get a slice of pizza. Not me getting jumped again? <coughs> oh, my bad, friend. My bad. You know, you, you should have said that earlier. I was you know, trying to- Go inside. How? My leg is- Have broken. a great experience. Hi, welcome to Costco. Hi, Amanda. I just caught your IM. You said you needed to talk to me. Hi, Fatima. Yes. <sighs> um, come in, honey. You okay. Just close the door. You're not in trouble at all. Okay.
Also, I don't want to be like rude or anything, but my name is Fatima, not Fatima. You keep saying Okay, it see, wrong. that's what I wanted to talk to you about. It's that aggressive tone, you aggressive. know? Aggressive. You know, Fatima, some of your coworkers are a little bit concerned about your hostility. They feel that your personality is very aggressive and unsafe. And, unsafe? And, you know, we don't really want that, right? But I mind my business and I do my work and I even work overtime a lot. Like, how is Honey, that? Honey, I have gotten cornrows on my vacation in Jamaica before. So I see you. And I hear you. What? You know, your quiet personality has caused a lot of havoc. And they don't think it's healthy in this situation. I'm sorry. I don't really understand how that's considered havoc. You know, I don't really know if they do that in your hood. What? But at Parker Solutions, we don't really do that here. Okay, I literally yeah. cannot believe you just whoa, said that to whoa. me. Calm down, sister. Don't pop off. Honey, I just want to see where your head's at. I'm just here to get down to the nitty gritty, the pit, the core, the bottom, the glute, the donkey of things. I just want to know if you are okay. I'm fine. To make this environment completely safe because we are all a family here and we are so worried about you. Is this about Rachel from Billing? All I said is that I don't want to be called Fat sis. Like, Fatima. I give up. We at Parker Solutions want to ensure that you are comfortable. And Rachel has informed me that she meant no harm. She even looked it up on Urban Dictionary and she said it was a term of endearment. But that's not whoa, really- Whoa, whoa, See how you're raising your arms like that? That is the aggression that we're talking about. Are you serious? All I am saying is that you should engage more. You don't go to happy hours. You don't talk. You just do your work and go home. You know, you don't like to try the food at our potluck. You know, Brian from accounting even saw that you spit out his casserole and he was- we all spit it out. That. Like, we just want you to be a team player. I didn't think that was part of my job description that you I had. You know, I feel like you and Shaniqua from accounting would be great friends. And you should definitely talk to her more. I thought you guys were sisters. Obviously. Her name is actually Sarah. And we're not sisters. So. You're not? No. And before you go, one more thing. Fatima. Fatima, I was gonna say that. I was gonna say that. You definitely were you not, are but on your team. We love you. What? Yo, I always get mistaken for being a newborn baby all the time. They really think I'm a baby. Like people be telling me all the time that I look 19. Yeah, in dog years. See, I'm 48 and I literally look 18. But wasn't Booker T Washington your prom date though? How old do you think I look? I mean, you look at least 52. You meant to switch it around, right? 25, mm -hmm. right? Not 50, yeah. Nope. Yo, y'all want to see my high school yearbook? Didn't you graduate the same year as Betty White, though? Like, I could have sworn No, that. she was a grade above me. I'm way younger than her. I'm telling y'all, 95 is the new 25. Excuse me, ladies. Are you guys in line for the bathroom? We're or? not sisters. We are not sisters. I'm literally her mom. I know we look like sisters. I don't know. Y'all don't know nothing about teach me how to duck. Huh? No one want to listen to that senior citizen music. What? Like Oh, Mom, no. please tell me everything's gonna be okay, man. I'm just so happy that my babies is here with me and safe. Ma, we came as soon as we could. Yeah. Ma, how come you didn't tell us you had fibromyosis, Gerona Lahalja? Exactly. I didn't want to upset nobody. I didn't want to be in nobody's way. What? Oh, come on, I just Ma. wanted y'all to live your lives, and I didn't want to be a burden. Ma, no, you were Ma. never a burden. You could have told us, Ma. We would have Ma, been there. from this day forward, I will not be in the streets no more, Ma. I promise That's you good that. to hear your son needs you, baby. I'm a I'm sorry, Ma. I've been busy with all the kids. I didn't even notice. Me neither. Me too, Ma. I promise I won't cheat on my girl no more. We're going to make it right, Ma. Yeah, Ma. Me too. I'm going to make changes with my life, too. Starting today. Is Ashley here? I don't we know tried calling her, but she wouldn't pick up her phone. She's not coming? No, I don't, don't think know. so, Ma. I'm sorry. <sighs> we left her a voicemail. Call her cell phone. I'll try her again. Ma, I got a question for you, though. What is it, baby? What is your password to your online banking account? No! no! Mama, no! Hey, Janae. Hey. I noticed that your team's notification was yellow for five minutes. What were you doing, like, during those five minutes? Well, I had to get up and use the bathroom. Okay. Am I not allowed to Okay, go? well, if you're going to go to the bathroom, you got to let me know. I know I'm not your boss, but I am on a higher level than you, so not I can really. tell you what to do. I'm not saying that I don't trust you, but I'd rather be CC'd on every single email that you send. Why? Okay, so I noticed that you sent this email, but, like, I didn't get a chance to check it first. So, oh. you know, moving forward. So I noticed that you put this in your email, but, like, Honestly, that's not how I would have done it. Okay. I mean, I have been here longer than you. See, if that was me, I would have done that in like five minutes. I'm just saying that like this is like the right way to do it, even though you don't have to follow it, but it is the right way. I just want to remind you that I've been here longer than you, so I know a lot more things than you do. Wait, where are you going? I'm going on lunch since it's 12 o'clock and that's when we all take lunch. 
I get that everybody goes to lunch at 12, but you should still let me know because oh. if I don't know where you are, it's going to be like a real big disaster. So like moving forward. So two plus two equals four. I'm sorry. She's a little new here. So please disregard everything that she just said. And I'm going to tell you the exact same thing that she said, but it sounds a lot better coming out of my mouth. So two plus two is four. What? Who entered this in? Um, I'm not going to say names, but I did show Janae already how to do it. And I had her do it by herself. You told me to. Okay, Janae, we're going to have a little chat in like my little office. Okay. Um, I feel like you should have informed me when you were going to the bathroom because that's just not really team player vibes. Hey, so next week, I'm going to need you to work oh, on. I'm going to be out of office all next week, though. Chris actually uh, approved my PTO, so I'm going to be all out next week. Was I informed about that no because i went directly to our boss and he okay i know he's our boss but i'm kind of second in command so i should know about every single thing that hey the billing department just let us know about the whole situation but i took care of everything though okay i kind of want to piggyback off of your email because i don't really like what you just said and i don't trust you no so but everything was canceled hey frank jumping in here okay so this is everything that i have learned from being on social media in 2023 <clears throat> You are not allowed to have brown cabinets. You are not allowed to have a Roku TV. You are not allowed to have toothbrushes in your bathroom because of boo-boo air. You are not allowed to have a white refrigerator. You are not allowed to eat at the Cheesecake Factory. If your friend is simply venting to you, it is still a red flag because she is a crisis friend. You are not allowed to wear Shein or Fashion Nova because it means that you are broke. You are not allowed to rewear the same outfit or the same shoes for more than two consecutive days. You are not allowed to wear box braids for longer than two weeks. Honorable mention, knotless braids cannot be worn for more than four days or people will make fun of your hair. You are not allowed to wear box braids to a birthday dinner. You are not allowed to dress nice or wear makeup to your friend's birthday dinner. You are not allowed to have fun past the age of 30. Honorable mention, once you turn 25. If you do not like carne asada, then you are a narcissist. If you do not like cereal, then you are a narcissist. Biting ice cream is a sign of a trauma response. You are not allowed to drink strawberry lemonade as a man or that is sassy. You are not allowed to have popcorn ceilings. You are not allowed to work a nine to five job. If your boyfriend doesn't let you use him as a step stool, then he hates you and it is a sign of avoided attachment style. Press on nails are ghetto. You are not allowed to date someone who is either two years younger than you or two years older than you, even though you guys are both adults. If you are a celebrity influencer or a clout chaser, but flying Southwest Airlines, you are broke. You are not allowed to breathe or you will be considered broke. Did I miss anything? Girl, low-key, I think this dude at Chipotle like me. Like, uh, no, don't, don't, don't make that face. Don't make that face. I'm just saying, like, he be giving me extra chicken on my bowl. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Like, sometimes I really think I'm gonna never love again. Like, like, I just don't think I'm gonna ever find love. Like, I'm just so over it. Like, yo, my manager gets on my nerves, bro. Like, why are you wearing blue? Like, blue is such an ugly color on you. Like, that don't even look good. Like, why are you wearing blue? Okay, so I'm not sure if you can hear me or not because I'm in the library, but let, tell me how this cute boy literally walked by my table as I was studying. Yo, sis, I'm really about to drop out. Like, every day I wonder why I didn't just be an influencer. Like, why didn't I get on my Zoom in 2020? Like, I do not want to do this calcul- Okay, so you might hear a little bit of chewing, but I'm just eating chips right now. So let me tell you about how good these chips are, right? So I got them from like this little corner store. I right, so boom. Let me tell you about this boy that I met on the train, right? So he was looking at me. I was looking at him. Ah, oh, my mom really called me in the middle of me making a voice note. Okay, so anyways, as I was trying to say, like, oh my gosh. I accidentally let go of the button too quick. But anyways, so this dude, I was looking at him. He was looking at me. And he was like, oh, like, I want to take you out. And I was just like. Okay, this is really random, but I low-key think I want to get my body done. Oh, yeah. Also, I'm watching Love is Blind right now. Like, I, I'm so, I'm not trying to spoil it for you. I'm not trying to spoil it. But that dude, Uche, like, oh, my gosh. Like, he Girl, just... I can't. Hi, everyone. This is Cheryl from the Johnson family, and we need your help. My son, he's suffering from a... <clears throat> Bless you? Sorry. We thought that our son had a small cold, but it turns out that he has a rare genetic disorder called fibromatosis gelagia lahalgia. 
Mom, that and doesn't even exist, and I'm perfectly fine. Like, <laughs> you want a PS5 or not? As I was saying, my son is very sick. My son is very sick. I do it now? Cough! Uh, uh, brr, uh, uh. So we ask you from the Johnson family to send us a small loan of a million dollars to help our son get better. But a PS5 doesn't even cost that much. I said cough. Uh, 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 um, achoo. And please make sure that you turn on your post notifications and make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe to see our next hospital video. Oh, that's me? Uh, oh, my stomach, the pain I can't bear. Mm -mm, Juju, that last cough needs a little bit more phlegm. I'm gonna need more phlegm from you. <laughs> like, that's okay. what I that's what I need, okay? Why are you making that face? They stink in here. No, it's like, not. Like, we should have gone to an upscale restaurant like Red Lobster. Like Girl, Red Lobster is... That's not... They got bread here? I don't know. Have an open mind. No, we've been sitting here for 11 seconds. The waitress should have been asked us for our drinks. Girl. So we not getting no bread? The music is giving me oons oons vibes. I don't like that. Nah, where's the chicken tenders and fries at? Because everything on this menu looks mad skeptical. Like, all right, ladies, you guys ready to order? Well, yes. Um, I'll take the 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 chicken fajita bowl. Fajita with no chicken. Okay. No veggies. Okay. No beans. Mm -hmm. And no cheese and no sauce. So that miss, that's just rice. That's it. That's it. Yes, just just the rice. Just rice. Okay. Mm -hmm. No problem. Mmm, this is so good, girl. Nah, this rice don't taste right. You don't like your food? No, girl. Will you want some of mine? No. Are you sure? Like, okay. Like, we really should have gone somewhere else. Like, how's the food, ladies? Everything good? Yep, the food is amazing. Well, actually, Janaya, come on. I'm, no. I'm sorry, um, sir. So, my rice was unseasoned. Oh. Undercooked. Oh, my. And the presentation was terrible. So, oh, I would wow. like to be compensated for my emotional suffering. I'm sorry that your emotions have suffered. Let me get my manager. Thank you. Janaya, you always do this. That's why we can't be going out to places because you're so picky. No, like... they should have gotten it right the first time. Oh, um, my gosh. So all that. right, oh, happy Friday. I'm feeling very generous today, so I think I'm gonna put on a movie. Oh, yes! 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 Finally! Now, before Ms. I- Ms. Bauer, excuse me, can I use the bathroom, please? No, you already went four months ago. What, are you serious? I don't know, guys. I think I'm having <gasps> a little bit of trouble setting it up. Something's up with the no, Wi-Fi. No. Try putting the, the cable into another outlet. Like, try the Wait, Wi-Fi. Yeah, I don't know, do we'll like... try, we'll please, try. Please. Wait, can, can Wait, you just put Bell, it in like, I can, um, I can the Wi-Fi cord? Do, let me try, All let right, me try. I called Mr. Johnson. He said it's going to be fixed in a couple of days. Can we no. But in the meantime, I did remember that you guys have a test on Tuesday. Oh. So I want you guys instead to open up your textbooks. Oh. Yeah, no, no, open up your textbooks. We're going to actually do some work today. No oh. movie. No, open up to oh. chapter three and take out a loose leaf and number two pencil. Ms. Bell, can I try All right, time, so who can tell me? The connection that I have with Tremaine is so rare. I feel like I can be myself. I feel so safe and I don't care what he looks like. I don't, he could be a, a garbage bag for all I know. And I'll literally be so in love with that man. I don't care if he has a gold tooth. I don't care if he makes podcasts and calls women females. I, I'm ready to meet him. I'm ready to meet the man that I'll be living with for the rest of my life. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Good morning, my sweet, delicious, sugary apple. Um. Wow. Um. I don't think that the connection with Tremaine was there. Immediately, I just felt unsafe. And... I felt guarded. I almost felt like I was lied to. I just didn't feel the spark. Like usually I'm just used to feeling that spark and he's just not the man that I thought he was in the pods. But earlier you said you didn't care what he looks like. I don't care about his looks. The connection died when I saw him. But you're backtracking because you saw him in person. No. Hi, welcome to Chick-fil-A. What can I get you? Hi, can I have two spicy chicken sandwiches with large fries, mm -hmm. a strawberry milkshake, three eight count nuggets, mm -hmm. one 12 count grilled nuggets with Polynesian and a chocolate mm -hmm. fudge brownie. Are you eating for two? Based on your stomach, it looks like a boy. I'm not pregnant, it's for the table. Over there. Hi, sir, welcome to Chick-fil-A. It is my absolute pleasure to serve you. So what can I get for you today? How you doing, baby? Dang, shorty, you fine. The pleasure's actually all mine. You got a man? 
Sir, the only man in my life is the spirit of Jesus. Hallelujah. So are you going to get something or get out the line? Hi, sir. What can I get you? Sorry, I'm still deciding. Take your sweet time. Okay, thank you so much. Um, all right. So, uh, um... My face kind of hurts, so if you could just hurry up a little bit. <sighs> Hello? Hi, sir. You were at Chick-fil-A 40 minutes ago. You forgot your napkins. Oh, thank you. Wait, how'd you find my house? Okay, here is your spicy deluxe, your thank sweet you. tea, and your Southwest grilled chicken salad. Thank you so much, miss. You have a great day. You're welcome. Oh. Ain't you supposed to say my pleasure? But anyway, miss, thank you again. Have a great day. Yo, <laughs> what? It's okay. Yo, I do not care. If my man asks me for my whole paycheck, I'm going to give him my whole paycheck. You what? know why? Mm -hmm. Because how can he be a provider? Mm -hmm. right? I'm listening. How could mm -hmm. a man be a provider? If he has no money to provide. Mm. A female said it, not me. Oh, I said I that. I genuinely feel like I'm literally one of the guys. Like, I'm not afraid to burp. I'm not afraid to fart. Mm. Like, I watch football. I literally have more guy friends than girlfriends because guys are, like, so much less, less drama. drama. What? Right. They easier, for real. No, we gotta protect her, bro. Right. It does not matter if your husband comes home at 3 a.m. You should be up and cooking for him. He right. needs to have a hot meal when he comes home. Yes. 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 No, sis. See, look at what I'm wearing versus what you're wearing. Okay, Guys but... are more likely to respect no, no, no. me more because I show modesty, mm, right? modest, modest behavior. And you you clearly, like, you don't respect yourself. So what? a guy okay? is more likely to pick me than yep. you because of the fact that the way I'm Classy. dressed. Yo, I totally agree with you. Like, I think like a guy. That's, like, that's why think, a lot though. of girls, like, don't like me because right, I have right. that, like, mindset. Ooh. No, no, no. This is my hot take. No, no, no. This is going to be my hot take. Okay? Mm. I just feel like if you wear makeup, you don't actually like yourself for real because Thank why are you God. hiding yourself? Like Thank me, you. like personally, like I'm natural. I feel like I'm the only girl on earth that doesn't have her body done. And that's, you I feel like that's why I'm like very rare. Females should not be on the road, bro. Oh, oh come no, on. No, 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 no. I, I'm a girl and I agree with LaFrederick. Thank you. I feel like we don't really know what we doing on the road. So it's like, I feel like we really shouldn't be driving. Like, you no, know, you're right. Like, you know, I think it's time that we start being nicer to females. Uh... <laughs> Excuse me, do you have the keys to open up the glass case? <laughs> what? Hi, excuse me, can you point me to the baby stroller section? Ma'am, you in the hardware section. You trying to build a stroller yourself? No. Excuse me, I really need someone to open up the glass case so I can get the Nintendo Switch. There's another associate right there. Uh, where? I don't see anybody. What? Sir, that's a big onion that you scan in there. It kind of looks like a Samsung TV. Well, it is not. Hi, excuse me. I Oh, um, I was wondering if you could help me find- I just took my wig off, so that means I'm not working. But you're in the aisle, so clearly that means- No, that... I'm not working. Um, hello, you're not gonna break it up? Like, That's just... not my department. That's security. What? Um, excuse me, this fabric softener is $11? That's too much. Then don't buy it. Well, I need fabric softener, so, I mean... I mean, you either buy it or you stink. I mean, you already kind of stink, so, I mean, like, I'm not surprised. Excuse me, why are you laying on top of the apples like that? I'm just That's rusting. why they be rotting mad quick, like... Okay. <laughs> Can I see your receipt? Are you serious? <laughs> Baddies, who's ready for <coughs> go-karting? We got to so a big one on the road, y'all. You know what? I'm just going to sit and watch while Aww. you guys go go-karting because I'm really sick right now. I'm not there yeah, okay. mentally, and my grandmother lost her eyeball, so oh, I'm going to no. just sit right here and support y'all. Why are you blinking in my direction? Like, why are you blinking at me for? Like, what's good? What? I just said I was sick. I'm not even looking at you. I'm looking at her. Well, I don't like the way you be blinking in my vicinity. Like, that's disrespectful to me. Like, you trying right. to find a way. Like, I'm sick. I don't need this right now. So okay, I'm well, you can at you, at you somewhere else, not in my face. What's your like, problem? You're my problem. Yeah, what's up? What's up? What's up? Get her. What's up? Get her. What's up? What you trying to do? Get her. What's up? 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 You guys, I just tried men's deodorant for the first time, and I don't think I'm going to go back to my regular deodorant.
So y'all know how like women's deodorant only lasts you for like five minutes, including perfumes. And then men's deodorant will be lasting you through like an apocalypse, a marathon, whatever. And they'll still be smelling good. I'm telling you, when I put this Old Spice on, my armpits smelled like Jamaica. Which makes me think, why do women's deodorant have the most basic names like vanilla, lavender, pomegranate? And then men be having this thing called like Bahama Breeze Sandalwood. What is a sandalwood? This deodorant, right? Tell me how this is in Fiji with a hint of palm tree. What does a palm tree smell like? Men's deodorant be having these creative ass names and it be making me smell like a tropical vacation while mine makes me smell like Doritos and Fritos and armpits. Like, I don't like that. And I'm somebody that sweats a lot. I'm also a big girl, so like I get very sweaty easily. And this, honestly, like my armpits were so dry with this Old Spice, like y'all gotta get it. And let me tell you, Dove has worked for me, but it don't last longer than 24 hours. This has 40 and I don't believe that. And then before that, I used to use Secret, but I don't like the smell of Secret because it be smelling like the inside of somebody's car after they have McDonald's. Y'all know that smell. Don't get me wrong, the Dove smells good. I never really had any issues with it. But you have to make sure that you're clean constantly. You can't just sweat and then, you know, cool off and then sweat and cool off. Like, you gotta, like, no. So just try this. I'm gonna try the Canyon Island Breeze next because... <laughs> I'm trying to smell like Antarctica, bitch. I don't want to sound weird or nothing, but like, I don't know. I think I might switch. Like, I still might be using Dove because Dove does smell good and it actually does work for me. But this, like, this is strong. You know what kind of bothers me a little bit? I hate how y'all put me in a certain box, like, for example, comedy. And if one time I want to be serious or just talk about something that I like, y'all immediately flag it as like a brand or sponsored or whatever when it's literally just me talking. The crazy part is back in January when I was opening up about my mental health, a bunch of people in the comments thought I was joking and it really hurt my feelings. What scares me is that y'all put me in a comedy box so much that if I'm ever serious about something, y'all are not going to take it seriously and that scares me. Recently, I've been trying to incorporate like day in the life videos of like, because people actually want to see like the person behind these skits. If I was doing an ad, it would say hashtag partner or hashtag paid partnership or it would have the tag under it. But I can't talk about stinky armpits without y'all thinking it's an ad. If it was an ad, I would have indicated that. Now that I'm starting to get a little bit of a platform, I just want to, you know, use that for like, okay, let me show them how I get my skits together. Let me show them how I do makeup. Let me show them how I get ready for a skit. Let me show them a day in the life. Like just, I just, that's all I want to do, y'all. No hate to this person, but like, please be so for real. Like, I just want to be myself. Damn. Oh my gosh. I can't believe Lamar. He is canceled. Wait, what did he do? He's dating a 21 year old. Isn't he like 22? Exactly, like that's so problematic. Like he couldn't date somebody his own age? Oh my gosh. Wait, what happened? Did you hear about Megan the Stallion? No, is she okay? She sneezed. Um, I didn't know that, that's it? How do you not know? It's all over the internet. Are you under a rock? I guess so. Oh, girl, I am so hungry right now. What you in the mood for? Mm, pancakes. So you hate waffles? No, I like waffles. I just want pancakes. So if you like waffles, then why don't you get waffles? Like, do you have something against the women community that likes waffles? What are you talking about? I'm being gaslit. I'm being gaslit. I can't. What? I can't. Girl, did you hear about Tavion? What happened to Tavion? He passed away. What? Yeah, girl, when I heard the news, I was gagged for a bit. Like you are right now. Can you put on some music? Ooh, you know what? I could put on that Rip Me Out the Plastic song. You oh my I mean? gosh. What? How could you listen to Lotto? She's canceled. Lotto's canceled? What did she do? Because she was just seen eating a slice of pizza after Beyonce said that she's allergic to pizza six years ago. Like, that's so tone deaf. Wow, I didn't know. Ugh, I have no service. See, I'm telling you, that's Queen Nigel's fault. Mm -mm -mm. One thing about Jada, she cannot keep a man. That's pretty ableist of you to say. You're implying that she can't keep somebody physically. Bombastic side eye. What? Hey girl, I came as soon as I could. What happened? Girl, Kashawn unfollowed Blueface on Instagram. She's so real for that. Hi, can I please get a name? Yes, my name Hi, is- Hi, I'm here for DoorDash. Hello? I'm here for DoorDash. Olivia J, DoorDash. I'm sorry, miss. Can you DoorDash. please repeat that? What were you trying to say? My DoorDash. name is- DoorDash. Sir. DoorDash. Sir, excuse me. DoorDash. Excuse me, Olivia sir. I got Olivia J with her food at. Like, can y'all give sir, me her food? Sir, listen. Where her food at? We just got the order two minutes ago, so you're gonna have to sit over there and wait. <laughs> Okay, Miss, what's your order? Um, okay, so can I have a 10? Oh, yeah, I'm at the restaurant doing a DoorDash order. What does it look like I'm doing? Why do you think I'm cheating all the time? I'm not cheating. You the one that put me on child support. These diapers ain't gonna buy itself, shorty, like. Shut up, shut up, shut Hello, up. Hello, sir. Shut up. Like, Hello. you talking too much. Shut up. Can you please keep it down, oh, sir? Oh, my gosh. Okay, so can I get mango habanero? Nobody with... knows me like you Sir, do. I just want to be nice. Please keep it down. Please keep it down because I'm trying to uh, do my, my job. My bad, my bad. I'm going to keep it down. I promise. DoorDash, your food is ready. Yeah, I don't plan anything.
Baby, okay. make sure you're wearing your shin guards okay, this time. All right, oh, love you. Good my luck. gosh. I know that ain't who I think it is. Oh, gosh. Brenda? Hi, Sharon. Hi. Mwah. Mwah. I can't believe this. I was like, is that Brenda who used to eat her lunch in the school bathroom? And I was like, is that Sharon? In the flesh. AKA Mrs. I like to hang out with guys because it's less drama. Oh. How are you? I'm doing great. I saw that your car got repossessed last April. That's a big yikes. And I saw that you're on your third divorce on Facebook. Well, collecting those infinity stones, I see. Still have terrible credit and facing eviction, I see. But anyways, how are the boys? Very good. My oldest is going to college, so. That ran down community college right up the street? No, Harvard. Oh, wow, Harvard. I guess they're letting anybody in. Clearly, they're not letting everybody in there because your son has taken a gap year for 47 years now and he's still not in school. Oh, uh, you gag me there. <laughs> Well, anyways, enjoy the game, Brenda. You too, Sharon. Bye. Desperate. Non-existent neck. <sighs> oh, great. Finally. Hi, Mommy. Novea, come get your backpack. Oh, sorry. I forgot. You got everything? Yep. Everything's in my bag. I love you. Love you too. You're not going to say bye to Daddy? Bye, Dad. Yeah. I love yeah, you. Yeah. I see you next weekend. Hi. Right, give me a hug. Be good. I will. Hi, mommy. Mommy. Hi, sugar wooga booga. You're finally safe from that monster. Get inside while I go talk to your daddy, okay? Okay. All right, put your seatbelt on. Okay. You can call daddy if you need anything, all right? Okay. <clears throat> Shanice. Clifford. I told you, I go by Lil Booga now. Oh, wow. Look at you finding another temporary career. Hopefully this one generates income so you can actually pay child support for once. Oh, don't worry, shorty, it will. Because I got 36 views on my TikTok video. I'm really up next. So, first of all, that's not the hairstyle that I dropped her off with. And did she even take a bath and do her homework? Um, she never asked me for one, so no. Clifford, how you not gonna give your child the bath? Like, so we just not taking a bath go. now? See, this what? is what I be talking what? about. Oh my gosh, Shanice, you mad bitter. You so you bitter. Never like, do your you never do your part. It don't matter. It don't matter. matter. It you don't matter. Do it don't matter. Father. It don't matter. Yes, it do. You no, stay no. doing See, that's why she got like... my last name and not yours. You know what, Shanice? See, why this is why you, you evil. You evil. You never All them father. crystals that you be rubbing together and listening to that Jenna Ayuko music, and ever, you still evil. Ever, you still can't get a man. Ever, Cause you ever, evil. Ever, you evil, Shanice. You evil. I'm the bad guy. I'm yeah. a get for custody. How? You forever broke, Clifford. I told you it's booger now. That's not what the judge called you, so. Hi, welcome to Raising Cane's. Whoa, 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 Khadijah. Now, is that how we greet our lovely customers? You seriously about to make me yes! sick? Yes! Or you're fired. Bok, bok, bok. It's chicken o'clock. What can I get you? Chicken, chicken. Which combo you picking? Go ahead. <laughs> I'll take the clucking sandwich combo. Welcome to Raising Cane's. If the chicken ain't kicking, then girl, you must be tripping. What can I get you? Let me get a five-piece combo. Whoa, whoa! I just asked you. You should have said that. Like, okay, well, you should have said that. You gotta be trying to beat with me. Hi, can I get a box combo with no coleslaw, please? No, because you decided to wear Ugg boots today. Let me get a box me? combo with extra coleslaw. Extra? Welcome to Canes. If the chicken ain't clucking, then nuck if you bucking. Go ahead. Um, can I get a box combo with no sauce, please? Just the chicken only? Sir, I think you need the sauce. No, I really don't want the sauce. I, I, I'm fine, I'm fine. I don't need you it. You do need the sauce. Why do you, I need the really sauce? You really do need the sauce. You can't eat it without it. Yo, Rasputia, where's my combo at? I've been waiting here mad long. Well, I'm gonna give you that combo, all right? Where? Hello. Hey, you rockin' all-star. Go ahead and scan that card. Actually, I would like to cancel my gym membership. <gasps> but why? You clearly have unfinished work to do. Told you. What? I guess you're comfortable being shaped like a Toyota Highlander forever. Excuse me? Well, if you must know, I moved 17 hours away and the membership is $700 a month now, so that's why I need to cancel. That's why you want to cancel. All I'm hearing is excuses. You could easily just move back or commute. Um, that's unrealistic. And plus, I found a closer gym that's by my house. Come on, what other gym has treadmills? Literally every gym... You know, one thing I can't stand is a quitter. Mm. You're really about to throw everything away, everything that you've worked for, all because you wanted to be selfish and move. Not only are you letting us down, but you are letting yourself down. Mm. What happened to that girl on January 1st who said she wanted to unbig her back? Mm. That girl inside you is screaming for her wide tractor, double decker bus back to go back to a small sedan, but you won't let her. Instead, you want to be shaped like a transit bus. Okay, are we still talking about the gym or just cars? Jenna, cut off the gaslighting music. I'm sorry, but we can't let you cancel. Besides, you already signed all your rights away and the only way to get out of it is sell your entire estate. Well, I'm leaving and calling customer service. 
Jenna, guard the door! What? Oh my goodness, besties, I have partnered with Norwegian Cruise Line, so get ready with me to go on a cruise that leaves the dock in nine minutes. Since I only have nine minutes to pack my clothes, drive to the pier and check in, the most logical thing for me to do at this very moment is my makeup. Norwegian Cruise Line has launched their Month of Tomorrow's campaign, which is a month long contest where challenges are posted each week for the audience to compete on social media. And at the end of the contest, they will select three winners to win a cruise package. You guys have no idea how excited I am for this cruise, especially since my dad took my yacht away. Like see, I too am relatable. But anyways, I'm so stoked because this is basically like a bigger yacht with like 4,000 people. I cannot wait to eat out on the deck, karaoke, unlimited ice cream cones, theme days, and of course, shamelessly hold the buffet line so everybody can watch me take boomerang videos of the food. This cruise is a much needed solo trip. Despite the fact that I'll be bringing my production team, my emotional support pig, my hairstylist, my makeup artist, and my publicist, like that's it. Okay, I'm almost done packing. The cruise is gonna be 72 hours, so I just wanna pack with all my light essentials. And don't worry, this 10 foot ring light is totally gonna fit in my suitcase. Okay, so I think this is everything. If you guys are interested in entering the challenge, check out Norwegian Cruise Line to enter the Influence Us Challenge, which is challenge number five. And from there, you can submit your own travel influencer video. And if you guys are interested in learning more about Norwegian Cruise Line's Month of Tomorrow's campaign, check them out for a chance to win a cruise package. Bye! Okay, guys. We are not going to... Ooh, I'm nervous, girl. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Please don't say The Bronx? No! Whoa. Man, that Whoa. was the one I picked. I really wanted to go there. That was a good one. Okay. We are not going to... Nebraska. What? Are you kidding me? We missed out on, the missing out on Nebraska. Dang. Come on. Okay, we are not going to. Come on, y'all. Come on. Jamaica. I mean, I'm fine with that. Yeah, yeah that was yeah, easy. I yeah. Yeah. yeah, I don't. Yeah, want that either. must have been a throwaway. Jamaica Queens, y'all. No. no! Are you for real? I'm not going anywhere no more. I'm sick of this. Come day. on, y'all. We got bad luck. Okay, we are not going to. I don't want to look. Antarctica. Are you oh, serious, me? That though? Was mine. Oh. That was a good one. Come on. Okay, y'all. We are not going to Potato Heights. What? Oh, y'all, we missed out on the good places, y'all. I don't want to go nowhere. No, no, I need to step out. I need to step out. Oh, I need to step outside. Out. Okay, we are not going to Iguana Farms. Oh, I'm about Yo, to lose it. Are you kidding me? I really wanted to go there. Right. Right. No, I'm getting mad now. All right, y'all, this is the last one. We are going to... Oh, this one's mine, y'all. What'd you put? Paris? Paris? What? what? Why would you put that? I'm sorry, I really? couldn't come up with anything, so I you just really? You literally one. picked something better. Oh like, my God. No, no, we're, 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 we're gonna not going there. We're going like, to redo it. On, Everybody got a pen and paper. Um, hello? Are you wasting my food? Because I know you're not wasting my food that I just spent my hard-earned money on. No, I was trying to make something I saw on TV. With my groceries that I just bought? What's in there? What is that? Speak up, child. Mustard, chocolate syrup, pickles, cottage cheese, sprinkles, cookies, marinara sauce. That sounds absolutely delicious. Now go ahead and eat it for me, baby. What? You heard exactly what I said. Now you made it, now you better eat it. Go on, bon appetit. But, but, but I don't want to eat it. Oh, you definitely gonna eat it all right. And you're not gonna leave this kitchen until you do. Oh, you got an issue now? Since you wanted to be creative and now you don't want to eat it? I don't want to. No, now you have to. Now you gonna eat it all while I'm standing here. And I'm not gonna leave until you take a bite. Eat it. Yeah, eat it. You out here wasting my mustard when there's other children out there that are begging to have some mustard. Mommy, I don't want to eat it. I bet you not gonna be Chef Boyardee again. I bet you not. I bet you not. You guys, I have devastating news. What happened? Is everything okay? I'm leaving. <clears throat> you guys, there's bagels in the break room, y'all. Aisha. Oh, gosh. You know you're one of my favorites, right? You literally told on me for coming in late. I would like for you to have this tape since I won't be needing it anymore. What? Mondays, am I right? But this is my last Monday. <laughs> Who's gonna miss me? <clears throat> Lashana, I am going to miss you the most. My name is Lauren and we never work together. Hey Tyler, now that we're no longer coworkers, you should unblock me from social media now. I think I'm good. When's the due date on that? Client wants it by March 9th. <gasps> no, but I'm leaving March 8th. 
And then he told me the assignment was due on the 9th, but I was leaving March 8th. <laughs> oh my gosh, you're so lucky. You guys, I'm giving away free pens because I won't be needing them anymore since I'm leaving. Who wants my pens? We should totally hang out and keep in touch. Yeah, we should. I'm definitely down. When do you want to hang out? Sometime this decade. I'm literally so bored. You could help us on a project you'd started. But I'm leaving. So when is the secret party that you guys are having? Oh, it's going to be on March 9th. But I'm leaving on the 8th. Well, yeah, exactly. Melanie, do you like that Applebee's gift card that I got you? Yeah, thank you so much. But I noticed it was used already. They called me and told me over the phone. But... Hello? Okay, step Ugh. forward a little bit and close your eyes. Shauna, you got to make this quick. I got to go to work. Open them. What in the... What? Is this for somebody else or... Uh... Okay. I brought you here. Yeah, why? Because I want to ask you something. You couldn't do this over iMessage? You know, we've been dating for 10 years. Yeah, so why ruin what we got going and, on? And, you know, we've been through a lot. And you're like the man of my dreams. And I know you said that good things come to those that wait. Mm hmm yes. And I feel like this is the perfect opportunity. Is this a skit? Um, like... <laughs> um, okay. Love, Frederick. We've been together for so long. I mean, yeah, that's what a situation ship is. Yes, you did cheat on me and you had seven kids on me, but I'm willing to raise those kids as my own. You already and do. I'm willing to give you all of my paychecks. You do that too. And I'm willing to be your doormat for the rest of our lives. You already are. But Frederick. Don't do it. Don't, don't will lean you down. Marry Wait, me? please don't tell me. No, no. Oh, gosh. Uh, can I get back to you on that? Because um, I'm just trying to, I'm waiting on to hear back from somebody else. Um, yeah, but if she said no, um, then I'm gonna then I'm gonna say yes. We could take a little rain check on that. Um, you can get up now. You know, if you if you want to let me know, how long is that gonna take? I'm gonna let you know in like five years. I promise. Five years is the max. I'm gonna let you know. Um, I'm gonna give you an yes, update by it, then. It's worth the wait. It, it's you worth so the understand wait. it for that. Mm -hmm. Thank you, babe. Yes. I love you, babe. That's why yes. I love you. That's um, why I love you, babe.